Welcome to the irrigation station. Today, we'll be with Alan Fulton, the UC Farm Advisor out of the Northern Sacramento Valley, based out of Red Bluff, looking at how to develop your irrigation budget. Alan, how do you recommend the best way for growers to develop that budget? So Spencer, think of a water budget much like you think of your checkbook budget. You have the rainfall that comes into the orchard, the irrigation that you apply with your system that represents deposits, and you have the evapotranspiration of the crop that you are growing that represents the debits. And so a water budget is simply trying to track the crop water use and the amount of water coming into the orchard and seeing that they're within a reasonable balance of each other. What are some of the ways that you found easiest for a grower to, to get that evapotranspiration data? One place I like to suggest is uh, weekly ET reports that are put out by the cooperative extension offices. What it provides is water use for your orchard for the past seven days. It keeps a running total of water use since leaf out and then it gives you a seven day forecast. Once you uh, commence the irrigation season, and now you can go into the next question, how frequently do I need to irrigate and what duration do I need to irrigate during the course of the irrigation season? Okay, so now that we have this information, I think it's time for us to go to the whiteboard. Wow, it's already written on. Well, you won't see that every day. <laughs> no, you won't. Alan, can you explain to us what these numbers are? So what I've listed here is some general water application rates for the different types of irrigation methods. So it's, it's where we make the conversion between what's the crop used and how long do I run my particular irrigation system to replenish that crop water use. An example would be if ET report said one and a half inches for the past seven days. If I had an irrigation system drip that it applied water at five hundredths of an inch an hour, that equates to 30 hours of irrigation to match the water that was transpired by the crop. One question I commonly get is, what about my wetted area? We've got some glasses in the orchard as well today. You, you don't see that every day either. You don't. So the issue is that our ET estimates are for the whole area of the orchard, but some of our irrigation systems don't wet the whole area. When you're only irrigating part of the area, you have to break it up. If you don't, what happens is you're going to put water where you don't want it to go, and you're not necessarily going to supply the crop with its water requirement. So the smaller the wetted area, maybe you have to go shorter sets more often during the course of that seven days. Now that we've taken in our wetted area and our application rate, how do you recommend to growers to verify that our water budget is as accurate as possible? You can look to uh, soil probes and augers to uh, go out and, and fill the soil and verify the soil moisture that the water budget's in balance. Uh, you can also look at some the pressure chamber and some other tools that tell you that the tree is proper, in proper condition and status. Thanks, Alan. If you're struggling with creating your own irrigation budget, please, Check out the free irrigation calculator brought to you by the Almond Board of California at sustainablealmondgrowing.org. Can I use my superhero voice? Yes, please yeah, do. Please. Alan, thank you. Hello, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. For what? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And we're done. <laughs>